Hey everyone, we're going to continue with our tutorial series in which I'm trying to teach you how to think in Unity language. In this case, we're going to change our character's sprite or form to another one through a button. So the first thing we have to do is to create an empty game object called player in which we're going to store every single form of the player we want. We're going to store the little bat and this fish guy. Call him Fishman. Fish guy's got gonna be called Fishman, real, um, original, original, and Batman. So we have to set the position to zero, so they're lined up. Zero, zero. Then we're gonna resize him. To look more like his little sibling. And we're gonna remove everything from the from the Batman because he's no longer the main character. We have to add this to player. Put your body to the player script and the box glider. I want to freeze the rear body. I don't want it to rotate. I'm going to set the same speeds as before. And we're going to edit this collider so they line up better. This way. That's uh, fine. Okay, in this, in this way, we also need to set a button for a change. So we're to edit project settings input part three. I'm gonna change it to change. You can set whatever, whichever button you want. Just pick part three, and um, left shift is this button, and we also have a jump button already, which is space. It, this is default of Unity. So now we have to change things in the script. Go to the script. First thing we have to do is create game objects. That's gonna be our fishman and our Batman. So we just Create game object, fishman, and batman. And we're going to create an int, which is going to be called character select for selecting the characters. In the start method, character select will be 1. And fishman will be game object dot find fishman. What game object does, that find does is finds an object with the name you provide. So it's just simple. You just have to remember the name you gave a certain object in your 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 game in your scene. So that's pretty easy. So now, for changing the characters, we have to create a void update. Checks doesn't have to do anything with physics, only with the buttons. So if input dot get button down. The player presses change for the first time. Get button down means if the player presses something for the first time. Get button means if the player holds something or if the player is pressing something and up means if he lets go of something. So if he presses something for the first time, we're gonna say if character select equals one and he presses the button, character select will be equal to two. And then else if character select actually is 2 this time, then our character select will be equals to 1. How does this help? Well, now after you do that, you do if character select equals 1, then Batman that set active is true. That means Batman is alive. And Fishman that set active is false. That means this guy is not even close. So else if character select equals 2 then we do the exact opposite Batman will not be and Fishman will be so false that's what fit, uh, set active does that's the best way to do it in my opinion for game objects just set active false or true so now we I'm going to show you how this works just go here hit play and only he is active then you press shift and the other guy is active yep, real is he so now we're going to change the powers. First, we need to set, we need to check if they're grounded. So we need to create a new game object called ground checker. We need to move that game object to the player's feet. And in code, we're going to create another game object called ground checker. We're going to create a bool called grounded. And we're going to create a couple floats. A public float, 
jump speed. And actually, I know the boo is going to be called double jump because I wanted to jump twice. Okay. So, we need to go to fixed update method and create a grounded area in which we will say that grounded equals. How about this is equal? How will we make this true or false? We need to do that a physics 2D check. With physics 2D you have several options, but I'm gonna use overwrap circle because that's the easiest one. That's that's great. You just have a vector two point which is the center of the circle. What's the center of our circle? Well of course ground checker that transform the position, the transform position of the ground checker and the radius for the size of these pixels of these drawings of these areas just 0.2 f is fine f means it's an exact point in um, it's like a float it, this is a double because it has a little uh, period now it's a float and layer mask what's a layer mask a layer mask is the layer your object is set into so the dock in this case which is our ground is set to default or it should be set to ground doesn't exist so I'm gonna add a layer called ground you can see here the ground layer is 9, number 9. So set it to ground. And here you can say 9. It works. It's fine. But to make it easier and more like visual, we're going to create a public layer mask called ground layer. So you guys can see the two options. And we're going to set it right here. Ground layer. Layer. Okay, so the ground layer here is going to appear in our player, and you can see the ground layers here. Everything default, just, I just want ground to be a ground layer. So now that that's worked, worked out, we're going to set the powers. If only Batman the power to flight, Batman flight, flight. So how does he fly? If he is active just select equals one so for the fishman jump if if our player inputs get bottom down jump that's first condition second condition if he's grounded right and third condition if he is the fishman if these conditions are, are met, then the rigid body to the app force, we're going to add a new vector to zero and jump speed. And remember, we set that little variable double jump, where we're going to make use that of that here. Double jump will be true. So now else if the player input get button down jump again and he's not grounded he doesn't have to be grounded for this he's not grounded and character select is equals to two then first we have to stop the rebody to the velocity in the y-axis. So rebody to the velocity equals new vector 2. Um, the same rebody to the velocity on x and 0 on y to make a more consistent double jump and then we add the force again. Add force, new vector 2, 0 and jump speed. Okay, now we set double jump to false and we remember to set this double jump to false in the start of the game so he cannot just double jump all the time equals false okay this way we just set everything to for our player to double jump so let's check if it works go here check that the layers ground here okay hit play oh well, not yet. We have to set this jump speed to something. So I'm just going to do 200. So it's a lot. Not really sure how much we should set. Oh, it says object reference not set to an instance of an object. This error is very common. It happens when you don't do this. 
you have to drag your ground checker object or just be sure that this object is present so the problem is I didn't check for it always remember to check for your objects game object I'll find ground checker this is a very common error I'm glad that you got to see that okay we hit play again there you go okay your player is grounded he can jump once he can jump twice look at that one two so that's the end of our video I'm glad we got to see all of this because this is really interesting we can fly with one we cannot fly with the other this guy can double jump, the other guy can fly. So for the next video, we're going to be playing with our cameras. We're going to create a camera that follows our player, one. We're going to create a camera that shows the background, and we're going to make a camera that's a mini-map on our, on our game. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you later.